Sing a song, let it be of peace. Let it echo over mountains, valleys, and streams. And that song will come back to me. Shaded in peaceful harmony. Peace is what I seek. Is what I see. If you sing a song. Hello. The day is totally, totally different. Today is not Cannabis Chronicles. It is about the carnival. This next week, in fact, is carnival. It is a Tuesday before Ash Wednesday. And uh, so today we will have our guest, who is the founder, the creator of Carnival in San Francisco, and she is the goddess of Latin music in Honolulu. Adele, Adela Chu, Adela? Aloha, darling. Aloha, can you hear me? Yes. Oh, I'm so glad that you're with us. Well, um, tell us a about, about you. you. Tell us about tell Adela. Us about Adela. Well, I was born in Panama, and uh, I always loved Carnaval because it was my favorite time of the year. And um, I moved to the United States to come to college here, and uh, I, but I was always dreaming of having a carnival here in, in Hawaii, and actually not so much here in Hawaii, just in the United States, and um, my first opportunity to do that happened when I was in San Francisco, and I was working for Esalen, and I gave a carnival, and I had over 100 participants, and they all had such a good time. They, they wanted, wanted to, to do it every, every week. week. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that, that was, was my first experience. So my, my first experience. Carnival, yeah, the word carnival. Uh, is it different from Mardi Gras? Or because Mardi Gras just means Fat Tuesday. So um, when we think of Mardi Gras, we think of New Orleans. So what's the difference in Carnival in San Francisco, in Hawaii, and New Orleans? What's, or is well, there a difference? It's, there isn't a difference, actually. Uh, Carnival just is it's more, more like, like the Latin, Latin way of saying it, and, and the way it's recognized in all South of South America, America Central America. Um, um, and actually, actually in, in uh, Canada, they, they, they have Calabacanal. They call it they call it Bacanal. Bacanal. And uh, uh, it's you know, known as Fat Tuesday. Tuesday. Uh -huh. You know, Mahdi is Tuesday. Uh -huh. it's, it's Tuesday, it's called Ash Wednesday. And Ash Wednesday is the day, remember, man, that thou art dust and unto dust thou shalt return. And that's when. So that's the difference between, um, you know, it's just, it's just different languages in a way. Yes, of course. Um, but the, the idea is to. To have a good time, to live it up while you can before you have to give everything up for less. That's the idea. 
Yes. But deep inside, it was never yet. And before that, it was um, in the Roman days. It was Bacchus. It was the time when when everybody was doing the grapes, and uh, um, there was a big grape harvest, and so everybody was a little bit drunk. <laughs> and so, um, yeah, so that's Bacchus. Oh, come on. You see? Who's the god of the grape? And um, so... Originally, it really was Saturnalia, and it came in with the Romans and the Greeks and then the Romans. Um, and it was such a big, big feast that I think what happened was that the church couldn't control it. So they turned it into part of their whole system of um, days and weeks and so forth. And so it always happens four days before Lent, four days before Ash Wednesday. So you have Carnival Saturday, Carnival Sunday. Carnival Monday, and Carnival Tuesday is a big day. It's the day of Mazi Gra, Fat Tuesday. Tuesday. You have to get it all out, you know, <laughs> no matter what, how. You sing as much as you can, you drink as much as you can, you know, you dance, you go out on the street, you just have a really good time. Yeah, so, <laughs> now, the, the clothing, the, the costuming, is there a each crew, ca carnival crew, I guess is what you'd call it, they all look so different. Is there just a difference in the crew, or does the design mean something? Well, it depends on where you're, you are. Like, um, we have we, what we call contingents, right? But uh, if the, Brazilian, the Brazilian word is escola, escola de samba. So in Escola, we'll have a theme, and that theme will be uh, all the way through. So it'll, it, it'll be colors. Everybody will wear the same colors, and then they'll represent something, a different theme. It'll, it changes every year, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The, the group as a group, though, has, you know, they, you call it comparsa. In my country, we call it comparsa, most of Central America. They call it comparsa. So you're in a certain comparsa. Yeah. So that, that's like, in English, a crew. A, exactly. A carnival crew. Yeah. Exactly. So now tell us about the carnival crew, you and the crew here uh, at the Blue Note. So tell us all about what's going to happen. Okay, at Blue Note. <laughs> My friend Mike Lewis asked me if I wanted to do something for Carnival. And I said, of course. <laughs> and so my band is involved with it. My band is Espiritu Libre. And we play Carnival songs from all over the world. So we're going to have a, a sprinkling of examples of Carnival rhythms that come from different places. Like he's going he's gonna to come in doing the New Orleans style of Carnival. And uh, then we're going to represent Trinidad by doing a song that I actually got off of a, a black, uh, what do you call it, um, a contraband um, tape that came out of Trinidad that was uh, a fellow that was uh, in my school at the time, went every year carnival. He was just a carnival aficionado. And he came back with this tape and he loaned it to me. I listened to it one day and there was this on it, I'll shoulda, woulda, coulda, a cautionary tale, and I, I just thought it was so funny and great. So I, you know, I, I mounted it from my, my group, and so our group is going to do that. That's from Trinidad. Uh, we're going to represent the Dominican Republic by doing a really good merengue, and it's a merengue that I wrote. It goes, uh, I like dance my merengue backwards. If you like the merengue, do it to the side. I like the merengue, but I don't like when I'm pushed around. Dance the merengue. Dance it going forward. So it, the, the, those are the words in the song. They kind of teach you how to dance it. Uh, and it was something that I created, and I'm going to do that merengue, which, which, which has the rhythms of the merengue that come from the Dominican Republic. And then I'm going to do a song that I wrote 
uh, called Amor a Mi Panama, or Love for Panama, that, that explains all the kinds of different feelings that people have during when they're having a party and the things that they eat. Mucha chicha, wandu, carimayola. Cuánta gente alegre está. Y de alejos el tambor va repicando. Que viva, viva mi Panama. It's describing all the foods that are being eaten and how people are happy and and how from far away you can hear the drums are, are playing. Viva, viva mi Panama. And viva, it means like a long live, you know. And it's a song about Panama. So I'm going to do that one. And I'm going to do the murga, which is by, was written by Willie Colon. And it's all about the murga, which is the huge truck that has like 35 instruments, all hands blaring. It's like a whole wall, it's like a wall of sound. It comes in <laughs> behind the queen next time. And then behind them, there are all of these screaming and yelling and singing and dancing. And they claim the, the happiest uh, is the one, is, is the one. And, and the interior not It's just to, it's one from Cayarriga, which is um, up and uh, Calle Abajo. Now, how many people are in your band? How many people? Who are they? I have, okay, I have uh, Cheryl Bartlett is my singer, and Dave Yamazaki is playing bass for us, and uh, uh, Mike Lewis is playing on on uh, trumpet, and he's bringing in two other players. I'm not sure who they are. Um, and uh, Kim does the Kim, on Kim does <laughs> percussion. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And so, Rogerio Araujo, who is wonderful, playing percussion with us as well. And I'm hoping my very dear friend Maria Elena will make it back from Rio in time. She's a bandero player. What is and that? And when I heard that she was coming back. A pandeiro is kind of like a mini drum. It looks like a tambourine, but you get like a drum. And she thinks that she's like 10 or 11 years old, and she's really good. Oh. I'm hoping she shows up and plays with us, too. So it's, now, it's at the Blue Note. So how much is there? Are there tickets? Uh, what's, or do we just show up? Do we need reservations? Um, you can get the reservation. It's probably a good idea to get reservations. Um, the cheaper tickets are 25 mm -hmm. Um, It goes all the way up to, I think, 45 uh, depending on where you're sitting. Um, and I think there's a special Kamaina rate. So that's, uh, and it's that blue note, it's that uh, close to the out, it's inside of the outrigger um, on Kalakaua Street, yeah. Yeah. So all we have to do is call the blue note for reservations? Is that what happens? Yeah, you call the Blue Note, and um, or you can do it online with um, bluenote.com. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, it's bluenotehawaii.com. Oh, bluenotehawaii.com. Blue yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. And what time, what day? Now, we know it's um, coming up real soon. Yes, it's on Tuesday, March the 5th. At yeah, what Tuesday, time? Tuesday, March uh, they have two shows at 6.30 and 9 o'clock. Oh. So we're going to be out in the front also. Um, um, on the street? So the, yeah, out at, we'll start it in the street. And there will be some beads with discounts on them as well. So um, that's an option. If you, if you get a chance to, you know, to sign up in advance, that's an option. Oh, wonderful. So we get to participate outside and go in? March inside, is that the way that works? Absolutely, yes. <laughs> That's marvelous. I am so happy. I'm looking forward to this. And, you know, we are just about out of time, but what I do want to thank you so much for hanging in there with us with this new software. And um, that I am, again, looking forward to this. Thank you so much. Oh, yes, for anyone that didn't know, our opening song, we have to give the credits to 
the composer who is Adela. And I just had to play that piece for you because I absolutely love it. So again, thank okay. you so much. And we will see you on Tuesday. Right? Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Marsha. Thank you, my dear. Aloha. Aloha. And we'll see you next time.